Imagine a future where traditional fighter jets can no longer dominate the skies, new threats become invisible, and combat scenarios evolve faster than even the most advanced technology can respond. This is where the FAXX comes into play. Not just another aircraft, but the key to a new level of air superiority. It's the solution to a problem that hasn't yet gained widespread attention, but is already on the minds of military strategists. What exactly is behind this technology, and what possibilities does it unlock? Let's find out. It's going to be the backbone airplane for hauling freight. It is going to be the muscle part of sustained force. Imagine you're piloting a modern fighter jet, say the F-A-18 Super Hornet. It's an impressive machine, but new threats are emerging in the skies that it simply can't counter. Enemy radars are becoming sharper, drones can attack in swarms, and missiles are gaining artificial intelligence, capable of pursuing a target even when it tries to outmaneuver them. This is where the new FAXX program comes into play. First off, it'll be significantly faster and have a much longer range. While current fighter jets typically have a combat radius of about 400 to 550 miles, the FAXX will be equipped with advanced engines that allow it to fly even farther without relying on aircraft carriers. Another key feature is stealth. You know how planes like the F-35 are almost invisible to radar, right? Well, the FAXX will be even harder to detect. This is thanks to new materials and fuselage designs that scatter radar waves even more effectively. Imagine playing hide and seek, but having the ability to make yourself completely invisible to those searching for you. That's pretty much how it works. When it comes to weaponry, the FAXX is on a completely different level. While today's jets primarily use guided missiles, the FAXX will be equipped with hypersonic weapons so fast that enemy defense systems won't even have time to intercept them. And on top of that, combat lasers. Yes, the same kind of lasers we're used to seeing in sci-fi movies, but they're already being tested on modern military platforms. And the most exciting part, artificial intelligence. Right now, pilots have to manually analyze the situation, select targets, and dodge threats. But in the new FAXX, all of this will be done automatically. Imagine playing a video game, but you have an AI teammate so smart that it tells you exactly when to attack, when to dodge, and when it's best to just stay out of the fight altogether. The FAXX will be smarter than any fighter jet that exists today. We're deploying it against targets that we cannot normally see visually, whether it is due to weather, smoke, haze, or just some sort of other thing that's obscuring the target. And here's another game changer. This jet can fly both manned and unmanned. In the future, when the risk is too high, instead of sending pilots on dangerous missions, an autonomous FAXX can be deployed to handle everything on its own. This is a true revolution. Overall, the FAXX represents a new era of air warfare. While we don't know all the details, one thing is clear. This aircraft will be a game changer. Now imagine that we already have the three most advanced fighter jets of the future, the American FAXX, the Japanese FX, nicknamed Godzilla, and the European Tempest. Each of them is a true predator of the skies and all have the potential to dominate the air. Yet they're very different, like three fighters with unique fighting styles. One is a master of stealth, another is the king of agility, and the third is a technological genius. Americans always prioritize stealth and long-range strikes. Their FAXX is a jet you won't even see. It features a unique adaptive engine with thrust vectoring allowing it to save fuel and extend its range to about 1,550 miles. Its cruising speed exceeds Mach 2, and thanks to advanced metamaterial coatings, it has such a low radar cross-section that enemy radars see it as a small drone. Its new Acer radar with a range of over 250 miles lets it detect opponents long before they even know the FAXX is there. The weaponry is just as impressive. It can carry up to six hypersonic AIM-260 JATA missiles with speeds of Mach 5 and a range of over 125 miles, complete with self-guiding capabilities. It's like playing laser tag, but your opponent can shoot through walls while you don't even know where they are. The future of weapons could look very different to what they look like today. Um, so we're looking at um, options to have flexible payload bays, have different missiles all contained within it. The Japanese took a completely different approach with their FX. 
Godzilla is the most maneuverable fighter jet you can imagine. It features unique aerodynamics and thrust vectoring that allow it to make 180-degree turns almost in place. It reaches speeds of up to Mach 2.5 and has a flight range of about 1,240 miles. Its 360-degree integrated sensor fusion system provides real-time situational awareness in all directions. The FX is armed with six AM-4B air-to-air missiles equipped with active radar homing and a range of about 93 miles, as well as the latest AM-5 missiles, which can change trajectory mid-flight to hit targets even during the most complex maneuvers. Simply put, it's like playing a PlayStation game where you can see the entire map from a bird's eye view while your opponent can only see what's right in front of them. Now let's talk about the Tempest. This jet looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. It features a holographic helmet that allows the pilot to see through the body of the aircraft. Its maximum speed is Mach 2, but speed isn't its main advantage. Its real power lies in its ability to control a swarm of drones. On top of that, it's equipped with laser weapons capable of destroying incoming missiles and even enemy aircraft from up to 12 miles away. It also carries high-speed meteor missiles with a range of about 125 miles and speeds of Mach 4, giving it a decisive first-strike capability. Imagine they're launched into a combat simulation. Tempest is the first to detect all opponents thanks to its radar with a range of over 280 miles, and it sends out drones to scout the area. FAXX maintains stealth, waiting for the perfect moment to strike, while FX immediately starts moving, constantly changing positions to avoid being targeted. The American jet's the first to open fire. It launches two AIM-260 JATAM missiles straight at Tempest before it's ready to respond. The British fighter tries to intercept the missiles with its laser defense system. It successfully destroys one, but the second hits the fuselage. Tempest is heavily damaged, but still in the fight. Seeing this, the Japanese pilot moves in for close combat. Godzilla is incredibly fast, executing turns with 12G force and firing AM-5 missiles at the FAXX. But the American jet, with its advanced stealth technology, dodges the attack and relocates. Tempest decides to deploy its drones. They swarm the FAXX, trying to box it in. But this is where the FAXX does what it does best. It simply disappears. Its cutting-edge stealth technology allows it to change direction and become invisible to sensors. It retreats to a safe distance, analyzes the situation, and then delivers the finishing blow. Two AIM-260 JATAM missiles are fired at Mach 5. Tempest has no room to evade and is taken down first. The FX is still holding on, maneuvering and firing back, but the American fighter keeps it at a safe distance the Japanese pilot attempts one last move, a sharp 180-degree turn, and the launch of his final AM-4B missile. But the FAXX uses its latest electronic warfare system, jamming the missile's guidance. Moments later, the last AIM-260 JATAM strikes the FX. The conclusion is clear. The American jet wins thanks to its stealth, cutting-edge weaponry, and the ability to engage without risking close combat. The FX showed that it could dominate in close-range dogfights, but it never got close enough. Tempest, despite its advanced technology, found its lasers unprepared for hypersonic attacks. But here's the most interesting part. This was just a simulation. In reality, everything depends on the combat environment. If the fight were in a confined space, like over a city or in a mountainous terrain, the FX could have used its maneuverability to win. If Tempest had more time to prepare, its drones and lasers could have given it the upper hand. This is why the future of aviation isn't just about choosing the best jet, but also about the right combination of technology, tactics, and pilot skills. What do you think about this? Drop your thoughts in the comments and share your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on technology and military aviation. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.